chance you would be able to get a 275 total out of one of these teams. There'll be an extra payoff of 200 bucks. And also, of course, three marks in a row is worth $50 in bonus money. And three strikes in a row is worth an even thousand. So a lot to shoot for. Let's get going with the bowling now. Steve Vadney will kick it off for the champs. Steve and Dan Murphy had to struggle to come from behind last week. The knockoff, Bill Robbins and Dennis Chick, who had been here for a couple of consecutive weeks. Spike Strogny takes a spare in the opening box. And our defending champ, Steve Badney, with an eight. So a couple of pin difference so far. Seven on the spare. Steve Badney with a spare in the second. And Spike almost doubles up, not quite. Takes a 10, 27 through a couple to 18 plus for our defending champs. Steve Badney averages 129. Oh, and you can see why. He fills out the spare with a strike. Now, Spike Strogny's real name is Dave Strogny, but he said his mother wouldn't recognize who it was if I didn't say Spike, so he's, he's had the nickname that long. We've got a wayward ball, Don Riley. We'll go down and clear it out. Actually, he's going to take it home with him, I think. Done. Filling in for our normal lob line judge, Ralph Stewart. Ralph's out sunning himself somewhere. 38 plus to 36 at this point through three. Steve Badney, second bonus ball. Nope, only nine would have been bonus money had he been able to knock it off. Spike for spare, got it. And Steve takes nine. 56 through four for our defending champions and 46 plus a bonus ball for our challengers at this point. Steve has a high triple of 488 and a 197 high single. Spike now on the spare. Gets seven. So the challengers are down by just three. After four, Steve huffs and puffs, but can't get it to fall down. Takes a 10. And opens up pretty well with 66. Spike 
with a 10 and likewise pretty decent start of 63. So at this point we've bowled five frames and we have a three pin difference. Danny Murphy and Steve Vadney at 66 and Mike Sargent and Spike Strogny at 63. We'll be back with part two of the opening string right after this. All right, here we go with part two of the opening string. Danny Murphy will take the first shot for our defending champs. And Mike Sargent on lane three. Danny with a 7-10, but he's got some wood to play with down there. Waiting for that piece in the front there to settle down, and it does. And he's got it. Nice spare. Mike Sargent with the 1710 with a little wood, maybe to help out. Mike is from Bradford. He's married with three children. Got quite a high single of 228. And a high triple of 520 and a 128 average. On the spare, Danny adds just three. Nice spare. Two marks in a row. Oh, and almost a nicer one. Mike after just the 10 pin, four a 10, and he's got it. They had a couple of nice shots. No marks, though. 83 for our challengers through seven. 89 plus for our champs. Each with just one pin to pick up. Danny Murphy after the four. No, he can't get it, so no bonus money. Mike Sargent with his first mark. And Danny Murphy takes his 10. So we're tightening this thing up now. It's 108 for our champs, Danny Murphy and Steve Badney through eight. And 93 plus a bonus ball for our challengers, Mike Sargent and Spike Strogny. On the spare, hung it out a little wide. Danny Murphy with the 10 pin for a spare, and he's got it. And a nine box. So 107 for the challengers with one to go, and it's 118 plus for the champs here. So Danny Murphy in a good position to really pad a lead going into the second and deciding string. Mike Sargent needs a mark. And he's got a mark. Strikes in the 10th. And there's an opening there. Danny Murphy with an open frame in the 10th. A 10, a 136, good opening. Mike Sargent at this point is at 117, plus two freebies. There's one. And there's two, eight pins on the strike. And an opening string of 125. So we're off to a pretty decent start here. The defending champions especially off to a good start with a great opener of 136. That's for Danny Murphy and Steve Badney and our challengers, Mike Sargent and Spike Strogny at 125. The difference at this point is 11 pins. We'll see whether or not it holds up 
when we come back with the second in deciding string right after this. Here we go with string number two now. Spike Strogny will kick it off. Spike and Mike Sargent have to make up 11 pins. That's the lead that our defending champs, Danny Murphy and Steve Badney, bring into this. Good bid, doesn't go. <laughs> nice spare. E. Badney opens up second string with a mark. Nice. Ten. As Spike played the wood to perfection. So there's no change yet, but there will be as soon as Steve Badney fills out his mark. Big hit needs only the 10 for a mark. Eight on the spare. So an 18 opening box. Add eight to the lead. It's 19 at this point. Spike spares. Steve doesn't. takes a nine 27 so spike now working on the spare add seven and we're dead even at this point 27 apiece after two completed frames spike but this one could go nope miss the head pin Steve spares in the third. And an eight box for Spike Strognave. So the champs threatening to pull away now. Spike lives in Georgetown. He's married with three children. He owns the Ipswich Lanes. He said he, you would expect, of course, that a bowling alley owner gets plenty of opportunities to bowl, but he says he's bowls less now than he did when he didn't own the alley. Kind of like a golf pro, you just assume that he sits around and plays golf all day, but most of them will tell you they never get a chance to actually play. They're too busy taking care of the pro shop and helping other people with their game. And it comes in the back door just fine. Spike with a 10 and 45 through four. Steve with nine and 52 through four. There it is, big hit. Well, that'll make Spike a little happier as he takes a seat now, passes the baton over to Mike Sargent. Steve finishes up with a seven, so 59. Let's take a look at this. 59 for Murphy and Badney, and 55 plus a couple for Sargent and Strogny. So overall, it's a 15-pin lead for our defending champions. However, Mike Sargent's working on a strike. And does he add another one? No, almost. Mike looking only at the kingpin now for a spare. And he's right on it. So two marks in a row. And Danny Murphy with a spare.
So the lead at this point overall is down to just five on the spare at seven. 72 through six, 82 through six, rather for the challengers and add six for the champs. So the lead is down to four and there's three in a row. Mike Sargent with a spare in the seventh frame. So at this point, we're just about in a dead heat. Danny takes 10. <laughs> On the spare, thin hit. Only three. So our defending champs still lead by one pin overall for another Mark No. <coughs> well, this is still nip and tuck. Mike Sargent with a 10, 105 through eight. Danny Murphy with how many? Eight and 93. So there's a one pin lead now the other way for Mike Sargent and Spike Strogny with two to go. Every single one of them. Mike Sargent with a strike on the ninth. Danny Murphy. He's going to need that spare. And he's got it. Great shot. So it comes down to the 10th. These teams separated by just one pin. On the strike. Danny Murphy on his spare. Oh, and he missed it. Mike Sargent takes nine on the strike. 124. Danny Murphy spares. And that's the clincher. Sargent finishes with 134. Danny Murphy gets his six on the spare. For a 128, and remember, these guys carried in an 11 pin lead into this one. So with the six pin loss in this one, you cancel that out because of the 11 pin lead and these guys are able to hold on and win once again. So just when it looked like Mike Sargent was going to wrap this up. Uh, it doesn't quite work out that way. Mike Sargent and Spike Strogny. Just about on the verge of being able to pull this thing off with that strike in the ninth, but it doesn't work out. So Danny Murphy and Steve Badney do it again. There are the totals. 125 and 134 for Mike Sargent and Spike Strogny for a 259 total. At a 136 to open and a 128 to close for Danny Murphy and Steve Badney for a 264. Good for a five pin win. So they'll be back for their third week next week. We'll be back with our champions and with our runners up right after this. All right, we have to say goodbye to uh, Mike Sargent and Spike Strogny. Uh, we've got 300 bucks for you for losing and uh, $50 in bonus money as well, so you can take that home with you. You're here so quickly, I didn't get a chance to mention that Mike is still the uh, state all events uh, record holder. Uh, you could have used a couple of those pins uh, out of the 35-51 today, huh? Yeah, about six of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the single pins are tough, huh? Well, I missed, yeah, I threw two bad balls. I threw a three on a spare there and yeah. missed a nine drop. I knew I was slipping on the, to the left and I, you know, but they bowled well and hey, we'll be back. Well, you almost pulled it out anyway. And as we mentioned uh, at the top of the show, it is Spike Strogny, not Dave Strogny. So your mom is happy now, right? She's happy. <laughs> She's happy. All right, we'll see you guys again. Appreciate it. Okay. 
Spike and uh, Mike. And now we see. Oh, you want the books? Yeah, come on. <laughs> come on, here, have these books. Well, it's called The Light Side of Candlepin Bowling, so in keeping with the title here, I have the books. They're the last two that we have to give away, too. Uh, Jim Fairharris, The Light Side of Candlepin Bowling, compliments of John Graponi Ford in Concord, New Hampshire. So, <laughs> yeah, okay, have fun. All right, guys. All right, congratulations again to Steve Badney and Dan Murphy. Uh, this is uh, two in a row. Who knows where it'll stop? Uh, did you know this guy was going to be able to pull it out in the end for you? All the way. Yeah? Yeah. Were you just as confident? Uh, no, I would help Mike miss the single pin, but I still had to make mine. But those, those things happen sometimes. All right, we'll see if you can go uh, for one more and keep the streak going. For everyone here at Fairway Sports World now, have a good afternoon.